Please open in your learning workbook to page 224 as we read another example. Suppose that the number of bacteria in a certain population increases according to a continuous exponential growth model. A sample of 1,500 bacteria selected from this population reached the size of 1,575 bacteria in two hours. Find the hourly growth rate parameter. Note, this is a continuous exponential growth model. Write your answer as a percentage, do not round any intermediate computations, and round your percentage to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so just as with the previous, we are going to uh, look at some important characteristics of these instructions before we begin. The first most important thing to pay attention to is that this is a continuous growth model. This is telling you what formula we will use, which will be the PERT formula. A equals PE to the RT. You could also use A of T equals A naught E to the KT if you'd like. They're the same formula. Okay, the next thing that we want to pay attention to is it says to write your answer as a percentage. In this problem, we're asked to find the rate. The rate is always expressed as a percentage in your final answer or in a problem's instructions. However, it is always used as a decimal in the equation. Since we're going to use the equation to get an answer, that answer will be in decimal format. We have to convert it to a percent to express it as our final answer. And lastly, this says, do not round any intermediate computations, which means we cannot round in the middle of the problem. We can only round once we have our final answer. Okay, let's begin. So, we're going to use the formula A equals PE to the RT. The initial size of the bacteria was 1,500. That's the amount we started with, so that is P. And the time was two hours, so that is T. It grew to 1,575 bacteria, so that is A, the amount in the future. We're asked to find the growth rate parameter, R, using this equation. So we plug in the value of P, T, and A into the equation, and the only variable left is R, and we can solve for R. So we get A is 1,575, P is 1,500, T is 2, R is the variable we're solving for. Okay. So this is an exponential equation of type 2. And what we notice is that there is a multiplying value in front of our exponential expression. The base of this exponential expression is e, not 1500e. If we wanted the base to be 1500e, then both the 1500 and the e would have to be in the parentheses. Since there are no parentheses, the base is e. And we cannot use our type to approach until the 1500 is gone. Since the 1500 is multiplying, we get rid of it with division. So divide both sides by 1500. Then we have 1575 divided by 1500 equals e to the 2r. Again, this is an exponential equation of type 2, so we need to take a log of both sides. And because we are asked for a decimal, the instructions say nearest hundredth, we're going to take log 10 or log e of both sides. We have to choose. Well, the base in our problem is e, so therefore we will use log base e, which is also known as natural log. So, we're taking the natural log of both sides. On the left side, 1575 over 1500 becomes natural log of 1575 over 1500. On the right side, e to the 2r becomes natural log of e to the 2r. Now, it just happens that natural log of e to the 2r equals 2r. They didn't show any of those steps, and I want you to see them, so here they are. Okay, natural log of e to the 2r. Remember that natural log is the same as log base e. So then we have log base e of e to the 2r. Our argument has an exponent, so we can move that exponent to the front. Then we have 2r times log base e of e. Whenever you have a log whose base and exponent, excuse me, whose base and argument are both numbers, you should check to see if that can be written in simpler form. Log is egob. So, egob, what is the exponent goes on base e to make e? Write it this way. e to the question mark equals e. Well, the missing value, the missing exponent is 1. e to the first power equals e. Therefore, log base e of e equals 1 because that's the missing exponent. And 2 times 2r two times 1 is just 2r because anything times 1 is itself. So that proves that log, uh, natural log of e to the 2r equals 2r, 
which we see here in this problem. All right, so now we know what 2r equals, but what we want to know is what r equals, so divide both sides by 2. So we have the natural log of our fraction divided by 2. This gives us the exact answer, 0 0.02439, etc. But remember, we need a percentage as our answer. So we multiply by 100 and round to the nearest hundredth, and we get r is approximately 2.44% growth. r is positive. That makes this growth.